grown-ups, boys and girls, I'm so glad you've decided to join me in my adventures through reading. I hope you'll enjoy this video together. Parents and caregivers will learn new ways to help get your kids excited about reading and ready to learn. This video offers three five-minute adventures. You can watch one, two, or even all three. Join me, Lily, as my imagination brings reading to life, visiting friends in places both near and far away. Glad to see you. Do you remember my cat Peaches? I can't find her anywhere. She left me this note. It says she'll be right back, but it's almost dark and she's still not here. Do you know where she went? That's her favorite yellow yarn. Maybe if I follow the yellow yarn, I'll find Peaches. She went into my book of adventures. Will you come along and help me find her? Yeah. Great, let's go. <laughs> oh, hi, Stella. <laughs> what brings you to my deck of the universe? My friends and I are looking for my cat, Peaches. Follow the yellow yarn all the way here. Have you seen her? A cat? I'm not sure we have those around here. What is a cat like? Well, a cat is small. Is this a cat? No, that's not a cat. That's a crystal. Cats are furry. Hmm, is this a cat? No, that's not a cat either. That's a teddy bear. Cats have tails. Hmm, is this a cat? No, that's a hair dryer. I'm sure we can find something around here to find out what a cat is. What about your book collection, Stella? Oh yeah! Let's see if we can find a book about cats. What letter of the alphabet does cat start with? Cat starts with a C. A. Airplane. B. Bicycle. C. Cat. I found it! by Mary Feline. A cat can be black, orange, purple, or gray. A cat can be feisty and like to run and play. Cats are as different as the humans they're around, but all cats are furry and make lots of sound. Cats like to purr and lick their own fur. Cats like to meow when they're hungry or proud. Cats are companions to all their human friends and we'll stay by their side until the very end. Now I know what a cat is. I saw one here earlier today. She was at a tea party with Martians, huh? but I haven't seen her since. Oh no, what do we do now? Do you think we should just keep following the yellow yarn? Yeah. Great, let's go. Thanks for all your help, Stella. So long. Everyone, it's Stella. While Lily continues her search for peaches, let's watch some of my friends learn early literacy skills. Pointing to words as you read, playing with puzzles, and making simple book crafts help children with print awareness or knowledge of how books and words work. Reading with different voices, incorporating movement activities, and reading touch and feel or soft shape books help children with print motivation or their interest in books and reading. Hmm, I wonder where that yellow yarn has led Lily now. Yellow yarn! Why is the yellow and why is her yarn? Why, yes it is! Zero! Z is the zero! That's it, I'm done. Where are my manners? 
I'm Lindale, Lindale the Literary Lion, and I love to read. What's your name? Well, I'm Lily. I'm looking for my cat, Peaches. Now, when you say you're done, done with what exactly? I was just finishing my alphabet. Do you know how words are made? If you put the right letters together, they form a word. And words have meaning. Do you know if you know the meaning of a word, you can understand? I love the alphabet. I love them so much, I made my own song. You want to hear it? All right. A is for apple, B is for boy, C is for car, my favorite toy, D is for dog, E is for ear, F for family, which I hold dear, G is for give, H is for hand, I for iroquois, native to this land, J is for joy, K for kangaroo, L is for love, you know that's true. M for memories, N is for nose, O is for ocean where the water flows, D is for person, Q is for quest, R is for rising to be the best, S is for smile, T is for touch, U for united, together that's us, B for victory, W is for we, X for x-ray. To see, to see what's inside of me. Y is for yes, Z is for zoo. That's the way I learn. Now you can do the A, B, C, D, E, F, Gs. That's the way you learn to read like me. A is for apple. B is for boy. C is for car, my favorite toy. D is for dog. E is for ear. F for family, which I hold dear. G is for give. Is for hand. I. Iroquois, native to this land. J. Is for joy. K. For kangaroo. L. Is for love. You know that too. M. For memories. N. Is for nose. O. Is for ocean where the water flows. P. Is for person. Q. Is for quest. R. Is for rising to be the best. S. Is for smile. T. Is for tusk. U. For united. Together, that's us. For victory, W is for we, X for x-ray to see what's inside of me. Y is for yes, C is for zoo. That's the way I learned. Now you can do the A, B, C, D, E, F, G. That's the way you learn to read like me. H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. You put the right letters together and a word you will see. Q, R, S. T-U-V, you're well on the way to your first degree. W-X-Y-Z. <laughs> now you know education is the key. Wow, that was fun. Oh, now about my cat Peaches. Have you seen her? C is for cat. I saw one earlier. She went that way. Thanks, Lindale. Education is the key. You know how much I love the alphabet. So while Lily continues her search for her cat, let's watch some friends learn early literacy skills. Playing with foam or block letters and reading alphabet books help children with letter knowledge or their ability to recognize the letters of the alphabet. Making connections between words in real life in words and books by reading books rich in concepts like shapes, colors, and opposites help children with vocabulary or knowledge and comprehension of different words. I wonder where Lily is now. Excuse me, Don Petito! Oh, oh. oh, hey there, Lily! You scared the pickles out of me! Well, I'm sorry, Don Panchito, but my friends and I are here looking for my cat. I followed her yellow yarn all the way here. Have you seen her? Well, there's lots of animals around here. This is a farm, and it's my job to take care of the animals that live around here. Don't you know my favorite song? Well, of course I do, but my friends at home may not. Won't you sing it for us? Well, I'm pretty busy. Oh, please, Don Panchito. If you want Don Panchito to sing his favorite song, say, please, please. Oh, all right. Here we go. If you kids know this song, go ahead and sing along. Don Panchito had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. On that farm he had a pig, 
E I E I O. With an oink oink here, an oink oink there, here an oink, there an oink, everywhere an oink oink. Don Panchito had a farm. E I E I O. And on that farm he had a sheep. E I E I O. With a ba ba here and a ba ba there. Here a bop, there a bop, everywhere a bop, bop. Don Panchito had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a chicken, E-I-E-I-O. With a bop, bop here and a bop, bop there. Here a bop, there a bop, everywhere a bop, bop. Don Panchito had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. On that farm he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O, with a meow, here, meow, meow, there, meow, do cows say meow? <laughs> no, cows say moo, what animal says meow? A cat, Peaches, there you are. Thank you for singing us your favorite song, Don Pantito. It's getting late and it's almost Peach's bedtime, so we better be going now. Well, I'll see you later, Lily. Bye! We did it! We found Peaches. I can't wait to tell my parents about how my friends at home and all around the world helped me find my precious cat. As my friend Don Panchito showed us, singing, dancing, and rhyming help us with phonological awareness or the sounds of words. Asking questions during a story and being able to tell stories with a beginning, middle, and end help with narrative skills. Can you retell the story of how we found peaches? Till next time! Lily's Book of Adventures is brought to you by Dallas Public Library and Every Child Ready to Read at Dallas. Support for this program and video is provided by the National Center for Family Literacy and Better World Books through a Libraries and Families Award.